Hi, today I wanted to show you a fun template that I'm going to share on my blog and it's free and this video will show you how to use it. It's called the Chevronizer and it's just taking advantage of the popularity of the Chevron pattern and showing you how you can use the features of Silhouette Studio to fill your designs with Chevron easily. So what I've done here is I just have a shape, a letter. This is uh, actually text. So if you want to change the letter to a different uh, a different letter, you would uh, double click it to get the green bar. You would backspace and then type your new letter. So any, any letter you want, you can just backspace and retype over. If you want to change the font, you just click it once and then you can scroll over here and look for the other other fonts that you might want. Let's say we want to go from Rockwell to Ravy or something like that. We can cho choose a different font. If we want to adjust the size of the border, then we do that through the line style button, which is this one with the black lines and we can type in our new size. The slider only works up to a certain amount but you can type in and enter your number. So if you wanted a more narrow border we could do that. The default that I give you here is, is 25 but you can change that to whatever thickness that you like that will match the font that you're using. To adjust the size of the pattern we go to the pattern fill button, click on advanced options, and then we go to scale pattern and we can use the slider to make the pattern bigger or smaller. And you can adjust this to make it look right with your letter. You can pan the pattern by clicking the pan button and then dragging this little arrow around so that you get the pattern exactly the size and position that you want. You can even adjust the angle if you like. I don't know that you want to do that with a chevron but it is a possibility and then when you have it just like you want it you would now you would trace it if you're going to cut it you could print it like this you could print it to PDF but if you're going to cut it with your silhouette you need to trace it so we're going to click the trace button click select, select trace area you do want it this big as you can get it pretty much filling your screen for a better trace you're just going to do a normal trace un uncheck high pass filter and click trace and then uh, you're done. There's your cut file and you will maybe want to copy that to a different document so that you leave your template un, uh, unchanged so that you could use it again. So I'm going to go back and show you that this is really pretty versatile because not only can you do letters in different fonts but um, you can use dingbat fonts like uh, the one that's free from from font scroll called state face so let's see you want to make a chevron state here and there's my home state of South Carolina which is the lowercase n so again I would go in every time you change it you have to go back in and and uh, change your your settings but again you can get that like you want it change your line thickness uh, get everything just just how you want it so this is fully adjustable and really easy to use so a really quick way to make a fully adjustable chevron design you could plop a monogram in the middle of that or whatever you want to do but just takes advantage of the great pattern scaling features in Silhouette Studio makes it really easy to customize your initial or your state or some other shape that is part of a font in Silhouette Studio. You can download the Chevronizer template at my blog. There will be an address in the comments to this video. Hope you enjoy it. Be sure to like this video and leave a comment and I appreciate hearing from you. Thanks for watching.